guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really simple baby bandana bib. So this is the one we'll be making today and this one is actually made out of cotton and then the back is made out of a beautiful um, terry cloth which is perfect, super absorbent for baby's drool and spit up and all those things. I'm going to be showing you how to install these plastic snaps and we'll talk about different fabrics and things that you can use to make these bandanas. And of course, I will have a newborn pattern for free for download over at the blog post. And if you're interested in getting the whole pattern, which comes with newborn size, four to 24 months and then two to four years. Um, that will also be for sale over at the Etsy shop. All those links will be in the description box below, but let's just get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about the different types of fabrics that you can use for bibs. Um, there's many different variations. Today I'm going to be using a cotton and a terry, and a terry cloth is kind of like a soft, um, towel so it's got these little loops on it and I'll show you an up close so you can see that it's got um, a towel like but it's thinner so you can get this at the fabric store of course um, but you can of course use fabrics such as flannel flannel is very soft you can make the whole thing out of flannel we have a soft minky that would look like this, but then we also have other types of minky, like the dotted, or there's stars, there's all kinds of different ones. I love using this as a backing, so we're going to use this as the front, and then this as the back for an absorbent layer, so you can, you know, kind of wipe away the drool and things like that. So, let's get into cutting out our pattern. So I'm going to provide three different sizes. The newborn size will be for free, um, but the four to 24 months and the two to four years will be over at the Etsy shop. So you can get the whole thing or you can just go grab the newborn size um, over at the blog. So I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna make the uh, four to 24 months. So with this pattern, um, it will be, of course, a PDF version. Um, this is just the one that I made myself. I like to take the pattern and then trace it out on um, thicker cardstock. But you will see this type of arrow. And that arrow is just to show that we're gonna cut that on the fold. So I'm gonna open up my fabric and because this is directional, we need to be mindful of the direction. So we will want the kitties to go like that. And I'm gonna bring my fold over as far as I can get it just so that I waste as little of the fabric as I can. I'm gonna use pattern weights And then I'm just gonna use my rotary cutter and cut this out. Okay. So when we open it up, this is how it will look. The kittens are perfectly straight across so that you can see them. And then we're going to cut out the backing. We're using the terry cloth, like I said before. I love this, it has um, a soft um, feel to it. Um, it's not as thick as towel, but you can of course go to the dollar store and find um, thin towels there because they're not the best quality. They're usually thinner. And then just use those. And you can get quite a few bibs from one towel. 
I actually found this one out of the um, the remnants bin. So I just thought, I'll grab it. You never know when you're going to, you know, use it. Now this one has pretty good stretch this way. Um, so it's like a two-way stretch. There's a little bit this way, but more this way. So if you have more this way, then I want you to do it this way just because it's going to wrap around their neck that way. But because we are using the um, the cotton, it will reduce the amount of stretch that this will, of course, be able to stretch because it'll be attached to the cotton. But if you decide to use just Terry or two fabrics that have two-way stretch, just um, make sure that the stretches are going the same way on both layers of fabric. Okay, so there we have the lining and we have the front. So that's gonna be really cute. Okay, so now we're gonna take our two pieces of fabric and we're gonna put them with the right sides together. Just try to line it up as best as you can. And smooth it out as much as you can. And I'm going to use pins for this just because it is knit fabric. I find that the pins will hold it down a lot better. But if you have clips, that's totally fine to use as well. With the minky though, it is very slippery. So I would use a lot of pins all the way around. It's okay. You can you can have too many pins when it comes to this stuff, just as long as you keep track of all of them. And especially when I have pets, I always make sure, one, two, three, four. I have four pins, make sure I have four pins at the end. Okay, so today we will be using my serger, but you can, of course, use a regular sewing machine for this project. We will be sewing all the way around, um, but we will be leaving about a two inch gap here. You can leave it here or here, wherever, um, or somewhere on the neckline, just so that it's not visible down here. You will barely see the hole, but just in case, we're gonna keep it at the neckline so it's hidden underneath their chin. Okay, so now we're going to take it and we're going to flip it right sides out. And this is when I usually have a poking tool. Oh, do I, I was sold a pin. Okay. okay, so now we're going to take it and we're going to flip it right sides out. And this is when I usually like to have a tool with me for poking. I usually use a knitting needle and we'll put that inside and then massage out all of the points and then I will also get my iron out and we'll give it a good press. Okay. If you're using the knit fabrics, then you want to steam. Um, so because I'm using both, we'll steam and press at the same time. Because you can make this out of jersey as well, but jersey you definitely need to steam. Whatever fabrics you think 
will feel nice against baby skin. Even cotton bamboo, um, you can get organic cotton bamboo. Absolutely beautiful and um, soft on baby skin. So here is our hole. Let's tuck in those little threads there and then we can just fold in those raw edges. And then we're gonna do a top stitch and as we're doing that top stitch, that will close up this hole. And like I said, because it is going to be under baby's chin, if it's not absolutely perfect, um, you won't see it when it's on the baby. Because this is stretchy, it did complicate things a little bit, but it's okay. I'll just kind of pin it into place like that. So we'll go over to a regular sewing machine and we'll do that top stitch. I like to raise up my stitch length to a three, which is just a little longer than I normally would. And then we're just going to top stitch all the way around. Make sure we take that pin out when we get up here. Okay, so this is how it is looking. Now we're gonna talk about the snaps that we are going to use. Now, of course, you can use any closure that you wish. You can use Velcro and you can put like a longer piece of the loop and then a little piece of the hook on one side. But today we're going to use snaps. We're gonna use two of the female snaps and then that's gonna allow for some adjustability and then we're gonna have the one male snap on the one side. So what I like to do is I like to take my scarf and I like to just do like a little mock test. Um, I like to put the right side over top of the left side and that's just because I am right-handed. I don't know if that matters, but that's just the way that I like to do it. So that means that on this side, we're gonna have the male and on this, on the top of this, we're gonna have the female. So. If it's hard to remember, you can kind of just leave it like this. Put the male here and then we'll put the two females on that side. So I'm going to be using this snap setter that comes with a little kit. You can get that over at Joann's Hobby Lobby, Walmart. Um, they sell it everywhere. Um, you can get it from a brand called Babyville. Comes with a little awl, which is just a poking tool. Comes with some other little tools and replacement bits and stuff for these things, but um, and then of course the snaps that you can get in all sorts of colors. You can even get them with little pictures on the top to make them even cuter. I have some that have hearts. They're really adorable. Oh, this one has um, a flower on it, which is super cute. I'll have a link for on any of the things that I use in this video um, in the description box or over at the blog post. So look for those if you are looking to get your hands on one of these sets. Um, so I'm just going to kind of eyeball it, but I will have on the paper pattern um, where to set it. So you could put the paper pattern on this and then kind of just mark it. Um, but I'm just going to eyeball it and I just do it like right in the center of the... Uh, little tab here and this is going to go on the outside I'll just zoom in here so once you poke your hole it should be pretty easy to just stick it right through like that and then we take the 
snap part. They're a little, they're a little small. <laughs> they bounce out of your hands. You're gonna go like that. Take your snap setter, and that black piece is where you're gonna rest the button part. And then you're gonna, I like to just like get ready, make sure that it's all good, and then we're gonna press. And then that's just gonna press down that little center pin and it's gonna flatten it and then secure the button. And that is how it is looking. So now we will do the female, but remember we are doing it this way. So we're gonna have the actual snap portion here and then the button portion is gonna be here. So I'm gonna eyeball it again. And we'll put the button in the back. And then the female piece on the front. Get it in there. Make sure it's all in there good. And then press. And perfect. So now we are completely installed. But I'm going to add a second one just for the adjustability factor. And to do that, I'm just going to do it about an inch away. And then um, as baby grows, it will be able to fit them a little bit longer. But if you are using the Velcro, you can of course put a strip of Velcro and then just put a little piece of the hook on the other side so you have maximum adjustability. But I think these look so much cuter. It kind of gives like a little bit of an accent, especially because the back is that baby pink. Now you can go like this. Now you can go like this. Or if baby is smaller, you can go like that. And that is your baby bandana bib. And I think it turned out super cute. I hope that you give it a try. Hope you go over to the blog post and share it with all of your friends. And of course, look out for that free newborn pattern. And if you want the whole pattern, go over to my Etsy shop. I'll have it there for super cheap. So you can pick that up today. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye guys.